a former president of Nigeria, good luck Jonathan, who served from the year 2010 to 2015 and failed in his re-election bid, has come out public on why he lost his bid. He accused the former president of the United States of America, Barack Obama, of stopping his re-election as president in 2015. He also delved into other issues that were at the front burner during his administration. Listen to him. The level of interference by the America, Obama's government was very overwhelming. It's not as if I couldn't have won the election even with that. But if, by my own thinking, and also the way some other people look at it, they go outside the normal diplomatic relationship, then it should be mentioned. Sending that person to Nigeria at the eve of election, after Obama even issued a statement directing Nigerians to vote for the next chapter, that tells you something. And we should not sweep this is under the carpet. If a foreign country, whether African country or even America or any other country, interferes with our own elections, we should mention it. Immediately the Chibok issue came up. We expect Nigerians to be concerned. How do we get these guys out? Within a couple of days, we saw people going to the US would bring back our girls' placards. How? Why? And of course, uh, the Mrs. Obama received one of those placards. I cannot take responsibility for the abduction. I don't control Boko Haram. They are criminals. But as a president, of course, you know, it's not the president that go to the field. You have uh, security and intelligence officers that do the work. Let me admit that, yes, maybe they do their best, but their best was not good enough for us to recover the girls. That does not mean that I'm trying to remove myself from any blame. Yes, I may not be blamed for the action, but I could be blamed that my security and intelligence is not strong enough to be able to rescue the girls.